So as you know, I do what? <laughs> The SNES Classic is out and yeah, yeah. doing its thing, and they we're, seem to be having more than what they had of the NES Classic. Yeah, and, the, SNES again. and the, the drama for the <clears throat> SNES Classic isn't over yet. You know, people are still looking to get it. There's oh, absolutely. People, people are, like, stores are still stocking it. Like, today, I think there was a notice from GameStop they were stocking it today. Mm-hmm. And tomorrow online. So. Yeah, so it's just big because... So you can't tell because this is going to go up on Friday, like... Monday, It'll be up Monday. tomorrow on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah, that's right. But this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm sorry, but this is a Monday for you. Right. And anyway, yeah. you know, on, on the uh, idea of classics, there was... Um, I was perusing NeoGAF, <clears throat> and they I saw I saw a forum post uh, that linked an article from Anime News Network, of all places, that showed that Nintendo trademarked... Uh, Something that looks like it could be a Game Boy Classic in Japan. And this is an actual trademark. Like, they've actually trademarked it. But everything else is speculation of what it could be. Like, it has been, it was filed under uh, categories for video game machines, household video games, programs for household video game, whatever. Just words. A lot of words. As you're reading a lot off of words. paper. <laughs> Hooked on phonics, man. Didn't work for me. A lot of words that uh, say this is for a console. A console release. All signs point to yes is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. And also, but it was also categories for like merchandising. Like keychains, key clothing, bag charms, cosmetic shit. So basically they can license the they cases. They can do anything they the want. The cases, the controllers. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, anything. Basically evolving around. So basically, they all like I said, all signs are pointing to a possible... Game Boy, Game Boy Classic, classic, and like initially we all thought <clears throat> the next thing was gonna be the N sixty four Classic. Mm-hmm. You know that would have been that would have been rad. This is gonna be pretty rad also if it does happen. See, see for this though, I, I we predicted it. Like I feel like this is actually gonna be more true than an N sixty four Classic because there's so many there's gonna be so many licensing issues with the N sixty four Classic, like of the games that you're thinking of, because N sixty four it was great for its time. It was fun. Um, well, even at the in its time, it lost to the PlayStation. <clears throat> well, that's what, yeah. I mean, but you're looking at you know GoldenEye is like the first thing that comes to mind, um, and, that, and that's a rare rare game, right? It's not even yeah, it's rare. And then you had Congress Bad Fur Day, which is another rare game. Uh, you also had, oh, I mean, you have the Nintendo games, which is gonna be fine. You have Smash, Smash Bros. Brothers, C- uh, Mario sixty four, Mario sixty four, Mario Kart, yeah. <clears throat> Donkey Kong. Well, that's a rare game. <laughs> Don- rare made Donkey Kong yeah. 64, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's very interesting. But anyway, Game Boy Classic. We mm. see that happening probably, or easier to happen, I should say. <laughs> yeah, it'll be <laughs> Most easy- likely to happen. It'll be easier to get uh, <clears throat> first party, high quality, really great Game Boy games. Yeah, you just had Metroid 2, which just came out, yeah. which they remade, actually, which was. Um, Metroid Re- Samus, Samus Returns. Returns, yeah. So that was an HD, but it would be nice if they actually put the original on this. You know, they have Zelda Link's Awakening, which is a good game. It's actually a really good game. Then, you know, obviously... It's been Super- released, re-released like 20 times, but I've played like half of those releases. It's amazing. Link's Awakening? Link's Awakening. Oh, you're oh Link to the Past. You're My bad. Link's I'm past. sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Link's, Link's, Don't yell at me. Link's Awakening is a different, different Link to thing. the Past, okay. But it's got the same overhead, like, um, updated like you would have with um uh uh link to the past sorry yeah. i was just like thinking of different marriages because there was also another one like um legend of zelda uh oracle of seasons and all that stuff but that's for game boy color which is another idea is this going to combine game boy with game that'd boy be, color that'd be cool, with game cause... boy advance or is it just going to be like a game boy that's it just game boy i feel like if they don't combine them it's it's just <clears throat> Like, having a Game Boy and then a Game Boy Color, two different separate classics, if they release both of them. Yeah. I think it's just, like... You think it's overkill. Yeah. I think you can just put them all on one, just Game Boy. It's Game like Boy releasing the, the... Just Game Boy regular. NES Classic and then NES Top Loader Classic. Yeah. Um, yeah, because, I mean, you'll have Mario, Super Mario Land, Donkey Kong Land, maybe Pokemon. I mean, you have Red and Blue. I mean, they just yellow. they just released the Pokemon games on the eShop, so mm-hmm. I don't know if they'd do that, because they were pretty hyped. For that so they might not put pokemon on the game boy color yeah game boy classic but maybe yeah but like you said maybe uh they'll combine game boy with game boy color yeah and then 
they probably could get away with a Game Boy Advance classic, maybe. I don't know. That'd be rad. I love Game Boy Advance. I don't know if that's a stretch, though. You know, we don't really know what class of, you know, what a classic of this would be because there's classic games for Game Boy. There's classic games for Game Boy Color. But then again, when it's Game Boy Classic, I'm sure that you're going to have the the color options like you would if you plugged in a Superboy into your Super Nintendo. You ha- you're able to, like, kind of choose a color palette. And then some games actually allow for specific color palettes. So maybe they'll do something like that. I mean, obviously, it's going to be more like an emulated type of thing. So you can, they can program whatever you want into there. Yeah. So you can actually have full color. Like, maybe everything's going to be updated with color, like full color. I'm excited for the <clears throat> for a classic like a that's it's a, like a handheld classic mm-hmm. that's preloaded with a bunch of great games because like this SNES classic NES classic they're they have all these great games <laughs> but they're like but they're uh, uh, tabletop they're home consoles yeah they're stuck at a station and you have to well you have to manually move it to a different station <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's glued there but with the Game Boy Classic you're just you have a handheld you can take out and won't have the battery issues that Game Boy Game Boys used to have. So you're thinking they might actually make a handheld I'm thinking, out of this. I'm thinking it's going to be handheld. You think they'll make a hybrid uh, with an HDMI so you can plug it right into your TV? That's interesting. That might be that So might they'll be have true. a controller port cuz they have um That would be if that's <clears throat> if that's what they're doing, that would be amazing. Cuz they do have a third party Game Boy Super handheld Game Boy where it actually has like ports for your Game Boy or not Game Boy, Super Nintendo controllers. Yeah. And then like the cartridge made them do that for Game Boy where they'll have um you know, you'll have a extension or a USB for your controller mm-hmm. and then an HDMI to plug it in. But if you want to, you can take it off and just walk around. Yeah. Sort of like a like the Switch sort of deal, but without the docking system. Nintendo's really going all into the hybrid consoles then. I mean, that'd be great. And, I, and I'm into it. I'm, I'm into that. It. I mean, that'd be awesome. There's a lot of good games on Game Boy. A lot of people kind of picture Game Boy. They look at some games like Mortal Kombat, like ported games. Yeah. Ported games are terrible. <laughs> There's no way you could like, depend- like you, they, if they <clears throat> if they put effort into optimizing it, like the port won't be bad. But yeah, a lot of times they just don't. Mm-hmm. They're like uh, I remember, uh, what, were you giving an example for your ported games one? Because Bayonetta, just Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, because I remember Bayonetta from PS3. It, it was like developed for 360 for Game Boy <laughs> for, for 360. Uh, and and uh, are we talking about ports for Game Boy? Yeah, my bad. You're just talking. Ports I'm just ports in general. general. Yeah, that's all. Well, let me topic. continue this. One. That's that's different. <laughs> We're talking about the Game Boy. Okay. Well, Bayonetta mm-hmm. was bad on PS3. Let's continue. <laughs> Good story. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I mean, you have Tetris. Like I said, the Donkey Kong. Like, there's a lot of no one plays Tetris. There's a lot of Nintendo. <laughs> Tetris. Licensed, is, everyone plays Tetris. Licensed games for the Game Boy. Mm-hmm. Um, so it depends on how many they can grab and put on there. Um, Yoshi's Cookie. Shut up. The one and only game you played for years. Oh, God. Yoshi's Cookie. I love that game. <laughs> I love and hate that game. Yeah. It's it's a good one. I It's just... I should be in everyone's collection. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. So, Jonah, final thoughts on this, though. Um, are you excited? I w- yeah. I mean, I don't want to get overhyped for something that could end up not being a, what I think it is. Right. Or what is, they think it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is because we. This is a trademark. Nintendo trademarks crazy stuff all the time, and they, they, that doesn't mean they're going to go through with it at least anytime. It's soon. just to, to secure these stuff. Yeah. Now, because they do talk about re-releasing the NES Classic next year again. Yeah. Because basically, the Super NES that came out, or the NES Classic, Super NES Classic that came out, um, is pretty much the same board, just with a different shell. Yeah. With the Super Nintendo shell, so they can actually just take that and put it in a NES shell again. So. And if they do re-release it, that's great. But who knows when we'll see a Game Boy Classic. I don't know if they'll release them next to each other. If they're going to do it. I assume it doesn't take too long to come up with the idea. I mean, you have... Between the NES and the Super NES Classic, it was just a year. Yeah. I'm, if that. I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm going to say... With prediction. Get, uh, cartridge by prediction. I'm not Carmine, so it's not going to come true. That's true. But uh, If Carmine was here, it would. They're going to have a surprise announcement before christmas and it's gonna release on christmas <laughs> or the day before or something i don't know this year or next year this year it's gonna be in december no. it's gonna be ready for december for no. christmas December. no way this mm. is all about the switch and the super NES classic oh they're, they're gonna, gonna take SNS all your classic. money they're gonna take all your money they're gonna <laughs> take your children they're gonna take your wife that i believe <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna take everything of all things no they won't they won't kind of cram it all in there because everyone's going to be 
pissed. They're gonna be like, wait a minute, wait. You're, now you're throwing this at us. <laughs> we're worried the scalpers are gonna get these. Now we have to worry about those. Yeah, they're not. Gonna, they'll wait till next year. Uh, I don't want to know. But I guarantee next. No, I'm not gonna say guarantee. But I guarantee, guarantee. if you announce it, it will be before that year's Christmas, for sure. That's true. That's that's <laughs> true. He's not wrong. <laughs> you he heard knows, it here first. He knows the market. He so, knows the stocks, bonds, up, down, red, black. Continue. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. In Jonah's mind only. Up, sell high. <laughs> Buy low. Sell. <laughs> well then. Greed is good. So, yeah, no, I mean, what do you guys think? Are you guys hoping for a Game Boy Classic? And if so, um, like, what are the games that you want to see? And are your hopes that it will combine, like, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance? Or do you hope that maybe, or not hope, but maybe think that they'll separate the Advanced and keep that its own thing? Because then they could have the Game Boy Advance... And that covers a I feel like, long. I feel like the Game Boy Advance. Years. I feel like Game Boy Advance will be its own thing. I think it's different enough for them to justify making a different console. Yeah. Like I wish it was one. But console. then again, I don't know if they'd go in advance because then that's starting to get into. I don't know. Like uh, it's because not a special category. Yeah, because that's like right behind the DS. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So, but I mean, maybe they could. They 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 could do like a. <clears throat> you know that would be really strange to have like a classic con- version of the ds with a selection of they wouldn't DS do the games. DS. they'll just they want you to buy ds games because you can play it on the 3d that's true so they're gonna push for that obviously mm. but maybe they'll have the game boy game boy color and some game boy advanced games maybe all spread out or they'll just keep it game boy who knows yeah i'm interested to see how it turns out actually like if you're saying hopefully maybe it is like some sort of hybrid you can carry it and whatever if that's the case it's gonna be great but how many will it be because then you're worried about screen size. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Versus just like, maybe they really make it. Like, maybe it's only this big <laughs> for like. Maybe it'll be something like the Game Boy Micro. I don't know. Remember? It was, yes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think that was ah. an all right size. But I don't know if they could fit like an HDMI but, port but like or with something. But sc- with screens getting bigger and bigger over the years, I don't think I'll be used to that anymore. Yeah. So it might not. It know. might just be for your TV. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, a lot, you know, that's. It is what it is. I'm excited to get anything. Mm. Nintendo Classic or uh, give me Nintendo scraps, please. N64 Classic. I don't know. That's if they can pull that off with decent, awesome games. Fantastic. Um, if not, you know, maybe they got to sort out the licensing stuff. Who mm. knows? And new controller. I, I doubt them uh, seeing them yeah. use that. There's there's definitely like third party controllers <laughs> that just oh I'll jump on that no problem yeah, absolutely. Um and well actually with the Super NES Classic. You can use that controller on the NES Classic, so it's all maybe it's all universal, right? Yeah, but you I don't would, know. That's you don't have that C stick, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down in the comments below.